so we are here with a YouTube exclusive of the AI Minds podcast. We've got Peter, the CEO and co-founder of Feathery, and we're going to walk through the Feathery product because as we had the conversation on the podcast, it was so visual that I thought, let's see what it looks like in practice. And for those that do not know and didn't actually watch the episode or listen to us having our conversation on the podcast, Feathery is a form builder. It's basically one of the most powerful form builders and workflow builders you can get on the market. And it shines in heavily regulated industries like financial services and healthcare. Peter, I'm really excited to actually see the product. Bill, what do you got for us, man? Yeah, man, let's uh, let's dive in. Uh, cool. So, uh, so we're actually in the feathery uh, dashboard right now. This is where the magic happens, uh, where you're building the actual form. So I'll start by kind of walking you through the process of building these forms, and then we'll go into the actual workflow piece of things, uh, where AI comes in, like how we're extracting data and integrating with all these different systems. Um, so this is the form builder. Um, so on the left side, you have the different steps of your form. I'm actually showing you Feathery's own sign up and onboarding flow. So when you sign up for the product, this is actually the form that you're filling out. Um, so on the left side, you have like the different steps of the form. Uh, in the middle, you have the canvas where you're actually building the form. Uh, it's all drag and drop. We have over 20 different field types that you can use uh, to build this out, right? So I can just like drop something in there and it's in there. On the right side, I can style the form, uh, style the individual components, configure the properties, you know, create detailed constraints on the you know, fields and the type of data that we're collecting. Uh, Feathery is by default mobile responsive. Um, you can design for, the, design for the mobile interface as well and customize the experience. Um, honestly, I describe Feathery in many ways as a cross between Webflow and Retool. We have kind of the visual capabilities of Webflow, and then we have a lot of the powerful logic capabilities of Retool. So once you've made your changes, uh, you just click publish, you know, changes go out in real time to your users. Uh, you can view the form uh, on Feathery's side, you know, we'll host uh, all the forms for you, or you can also embed the form into your product directly. We also support drafts, so you can make your changes and Fast and versioning, so you can make your changes. You can roll back to a previous version. Uh, you can restore, you know, the last published version. Yeah, so to give you kind of detailed change management control here. So there's a few things I, I want to ask right away, and one is about that data validation. That was one thing that we talked about in the conversation that we had with each other, and how important it is to make sure that the data is clean and you're yep. getting valid data especially when you're getting gigantic PDFs that are coming through or different voice notes or memos that are coming through. So how does that work? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the first thing I'd say is, right, like just like from like a configuration perspective, there's a ton you can do in terms of constraining the set of information that you're looking to collect, right? You have all the same like min length, max length, allowed characters. You can even create a custom mask for collecting the uh, data that you're uh, looking for, right? Like um, I could use a mask like this and basically specify like, hey, I'm looking to collect three sets of two digits each and this becomes like a, a date picker type format. Um, you can create uh, custom validation rules, uh, you know, fully flexible like or and if else formats um, for comparing across multiple fields, um, different types of data here as well. Um, and then this is just more of the basic stuff. Um, we actually support what we call advanced logic, um, which I'll kind of take you into right here. Um, so you can actually create custom rules that run at different points in your form lifecycle. Like, you know, when a step is submitted or when a form is, when a step is loaded or a field value is changed and, you know, you can be specific about like the things that are actually going to trigger uh, this rule to run. And, uh, you know, we have a no code and like a fully like code editor piece of this, the no code piece, again, you can create like custom actions and validation rules, uh, in like a conditional format for validating all the data that's coming in. Uh, you can even, we even support a code sandbox, um, where you can write 
uh, fully custom uh, code, like code, uh, JavaScript code to, to validate your, your information. Like I could be like, Hey, you know, like I'm going to get the value of like the text area field. Um, you know, like I'm going to like pull the information from, uh, you know, my Salesforce instance, like maybe I have a list of accounts, right. Uh, this is obviously not like uh, runnable code, but you know, like I, I can like get a response from like Salesforce. And then, you know, I can be like, Hey, is the value that the user entered in like a valid account in my Salesforce instance? Like, yeah, sorry. I, I won't get too detailed into the code, but you know, you can be like, if it's like not equal, then like, you know, we're going to like set send an alert on the field. Like if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can get like really complex with like how you want to, uh, you know, do data validation for the information. So, and so this, uh, automatically well you just connect your different integrations whether it's your salesforce that you're using and then from here that works exactly so um feathery offers um like hundreds of integrations uh ranging from like your standard like emails right analytics like your scheduling and databases excel spreadsheets um emails uh you know like email providers um, all the way to like more like uh, premium integrations, like uh, authentication providers, more financial services focused platforms like KYC tools, like um, Telesign. You can even run ID verification natively in uh, the Feathery platform. You can integrate Plaid, um, you know, and th these become a little more like financial services specific. But um, yeah, there's a ton you can do here. And then the cool thing is, you know, I could connect my Salesforce um, here, you know, as an integration, and then I can write, uh, a custom rule, um, then in my code editor that uses the Salesforce integration that I just connected. And one other piece that we got into a lot when we were having our conversation was about the AB testing. And so how you can not only AB test, but get the results of which AB test is actually worth keeping and going with so i see there's like an analytics tab there i imagine that has something to do with a b testing yep absolutely uh a core piece of feathery right like you're able to build all these super custom forms but then you want to understand right like how are these forms doing like i'm running my experiments and uh you know like you know how many people are like looking at my form like where like where are they dropping off like where are they how are, how long are they taking like um how many people are completing the form so Feathery offers just natively in Feathery, like deep analytics on, you know, like, uh, how are things performing? Like how, how are your experiments going? Um, so you can kind of understand performance of the products. Um, and then going back, uh, we offer AB testing natively in Feathery. Um, so you're able to, you know, initiate an AB test and then, you know, control like the percentage, like, oh, 30% is being served to, you know, like this, you know, 30% or one form variant is being served to 30% of users. The other variant is being served to like, you know, another 70%. Uh, and then by tracking analytics in Feathery, you can pick a winner. Um, so A-B testing analytics, like that type of functionality is already native in, in Feathery. This is so cool. Yeah. Thanks, this is, yeah. It's really like nerding out on forms. I never thought I was, I would love forms <laughs> so much, but recently it's quite, topical it's yeah. been on the top yeah. of my mind just because of different things forms that i've been building and i'm used to google forms and this is basically like a whole different game than google forms yeah i i i think the cool thing about forms is um it's such an underlooked thing like um if you think about your product experience right like most of your experience is actually just forms um, but I think when people think forms again, like they think these like simple surveys and questionnaires, but, um, actually they drive a ton of business value for companies. There's just not good enough tooling in the market yet to actually support and enhance the types of forms that actually add real business value to companies. Yeah. And how many times have we gone through a form and just been so frustrated that you end up dropping off? Yeah. And how much money has been left on the table for companies because of that.
yeah, that that that's the whole you know kind of thesis behind behind feathery. Even the name itself, feathery, right? Like we were very deliberate. We didn't want to you know Google form, type form, draw form. Like we were very deliberate in like we want to create a brand, a a, a name, a, you know, a, a feeling for users that like we aren't trying to compete with you know all the other form builders in the market. We're a different type of tool. Um, that actually makes, you know, the process of building and integrating forms lightweight, um, easy to use and maybe even fun to an extent. Yeah. That's, that's so funny. Feathery. No, I do understand completely feathery. Yeah. Very lightweight and it, it, it makes sense. So there are AI capabilities in this. Can you break those down? Yep, absolutely. So, um, the piece I wanted to highlight, um, in this demo is actually the, uh, kind of docket intelligence piece of things. Um, so again, this is kind of just like a simple like test form that, uh, you know, one of our customers was, was using. So again, in this case, you know, simple form users are uploading documents. Um, so you'll notice that like one of the actions that's being run when, once these documents are uploaded is the document extraction, uh, which automatically runs under the hood. Um, so if you go to the AI tab of feathery, um, there's a extraction already in place. Um, and kind of going into one of the extractions that was already run. Um, this is a sample statement and you can see on the left side, they're kind of creating questions for the types of data that they're looking for from the document, whether that's like the total count value or something more complex, like, you know, give me like all the relevant, like equities, their names, their mar market values, the cost bases. Um, and then based on the questions, um, that they create, we'll automatically parse the document and also tell them like, Hey, here's where we got the information from. Um, so, you know, on the left side, right. You're like, Oh, like, you know, let me take a look at, uh, Otter. Um, and then you can be like, Oh yeah. Like the equities here, um, the associated value, like the name, like the, uh, market value, it's all here. Let me see if I'm understanding this correctly. So basically there's questions on the back end that the user is not seeing. The user is just seeing a question or something that says upload a form that it tells you what form specifically to upload. And so this could be me as an as a regular old investor, you know, Joe Schmo investor, and I've got my investment statements exactly. And so then I upload that. It is in the form of a PDF and on the back end, you as the company can say, okay, now I want to know all of this, basically like, I want to know all these questions and is it in this form? And if so, make sure to cite it and show me exactly where it is in the form. Exactly. Um, so, you know, it's the wow. user, right? You have this totally custom experience uh, for collecting their information. Uh, and then you hook it up to your AI extraction on the back end on the back end, right? You have all the all the configuration you've set up uh, to be like, all right, like you know, here's the type of data that we're looking for. Like, here are the questions that we're asking. You know, like we want to classify documents, and depending on the classification of the document, we want to uh, ask like different types of questions, right? And then like all that data gets automatically populated into your system. Uh, you're able to review the actual extractions at this point uh, to kind of understand like uh, you know like where information was pulled from, you know, like, uh, and, and then the cool thing is this data actually gets merged with the normal form data that the, you collect from the user, and then you can run logic on it. You can conditionally hide or show different things on it from it. You can send this data to your, you know, hundred different integrations. If you want, you can do the same thing with the data here that you can with the collected form data. Because basically you're taking that unstructured data, you're making it structured, and then you can pipe it into all these integrations. Exactly. We unify with the actual like form data that we're directly collecting from the user. Wow. Well, this is fascinating. You got anything else that will uh, just be the mic drop moment? Because up until now, man, I'm pretty blown away. Uh, thanks, man. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, you know, last thing I would just kind of highlight a little bit, this is getting away from the AI piece a little bit more, but... Um, this is coming back to like kind of the design system of feathery, right? Like the, the experience, how it looks. Yeah. I did notice that it was very beautifully done. Yeah. Design is a core piece of, 
uh, it, it is one of the core values of Feathery is um, because of how visual this stuff is, right? Like um, as a company, the types of forms you have to be able to build, right? Like they have to look beautiful and delightful to the end user. In, in Feathery, you have this concept of a design system, uh, which we call a theme. And so every form that you build is connected to a theme. And the theme is essentially like, you know, here's all my like fonts and colors and, and styles. And you can even create assets, which are like, you know, maybe you have like four different kinds of, of buttons that um, you want to be using in your form. And you can create all those buttons um, in your theme uh, with like different sets of like styling and, and properties. And then once you connect one of your forms to the theme, um, the entire form will kind of inherit the styling from that theme. You can use like the components from that theme. Um, it basically allows a company to import their entire design system into Feathery one time. And then all the forms that they build from that point onwards will feel uh, completely on brand um, because it's been... I can't import this from Figma, can I? Uh, we actually have an auto import uh, feature as well. So... Um, we'll actually wow. go into like a Figma or say like your site, um, our bot will essentially like, uh, run through your styling system and understand like, oh, uh, like, you know, here's like their fonts, like here are their like colors. Um, and then we'll automatically generate a theme for you from that as well. That is the last thing that I kind of wanted to highlight, but, uh, yeah, those are some of the main, main points. Well, this has been super cool and I thank you for doing this. Uh, I kind of put you on the spot. After we had the conversation, I said, can you just give me a demo? Because what you were explaining sounded so cool and I wanted to see it visually represented. Nice idea. I mean, I, I, I love doing it. Um, you know, I think it's a, it's a cool product. I, I love showing it off. So I appreciate you giving me, me that opportunity too. Congrats on what you've built. Thank you.